Wow, Ma. Look at how many people have seen the video. Handsome is famous, eh. Huh, where? Good morning, Ma. Good morning. I don't know, but Ella now. Yeah. This is very good. Now more people will start to look for Ella. Because of your video. Maybe we can find Ella now. <sighs> this comments. Why? People always have something bad to say. It's okay. If not, Ella likes my video. Nothing to do with your video. To do with the Shelleys. People are gossiping about Jessica giving Ella money. Yeah. These internet people are very smart to find everything, you know. And they are hum-tumming them. Oh no, because of my video. Selfish money face Shelleys. Yeah, it's not that bad. Lah. Ma said it's no good to talk bad about people. It's not talking bad when it's true. Hmm? Look, oh, Kishan. Here, the case file you wanted. What? You asked for it like five minutes ago. Oh, yeah. Thinking about your girlfriend. Get back to work, nurse. Have you heard? We're reading about it now. Jessica, what were you thinking? Giving money to Ella. You know how this makes us look. They're saying that Derek's rejection of Ella pushed her over the edge. Now suddenly she's the poor little victim. How can the truth get so distorted? Well, truth or not, everyone seems to be on her side. And we look like bullies. How could everyone forget how much trouble Ella gave us? But Jess, dear, haven't her reactions been understandable considering the circumstances? Surely we could have been more sensitive. I suppose after all her shenanigans for attention, we could have anticipated it. Could have, should have. There's no end to this. Well, you brought her up for 23 years. You should have known. You were too tough on her, Jessica. Derek was tougher. He rejected her. Well, you shouldn't have sacked her from Shelley Holdings. That's what started all this. Derek mustn't know. He'll flip out. Don't be naive. Derek has resources to everything. How do you think we're going to hide this from him? I agree. I think it's best if James discussed this with Derek. I'm just glad it's not me who has to tell Derek. Aren't you feeling very relieved, Jessica? Having poor James to clean up your messes. Hey. Hey! It always stress is making me hungry. We go nearby and eat. Why? What's wrong? Why are you stressed? You just got out of jail, is it? You haven't heard how evil the Shelleys are? I mean, that's the reaction to Handsome's video. Why? What's wrong with Handsome's video? Nothing. It's just because of it, people are just talking bad about the Shelleys. Ah. And you know, when they're worried about the reputation, Eunice will call for a family. Yeah, why? Eunice didn't call for a family meeting. What family meeting? Family meetings are no joke, okay? You have to drop everything and go. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably exactly what Ella wanted. What do you mean? You damn blur today, huh? Ella, la, everything she does. Getting drunk at the bar, crashing the charity event with Debbie, spray painting the boutique door. All this just to get attention. I don't think that's very fair. Not fair. Everything I say is true, what? Fair and square. She's a spoiled rich girl who wants to do everything for attention. You know what? I can't do lunch. What? Why suddenly? I'm busy. You know what? I thought you of all people. Me of all people what? You and Ella have very different reactions to the challenges life throws at you. Can't be helped. You are brought up differently by very different parents. But in this world, the only person that can even begin to truly understand how Ella feels is you. How could something like this happen? What was Jessica thinking? Apparently, she thought she was helping Ella. And she succeeded in helping Ella destroy the Shelley name, prepare a statement that says something to the effect that we tried to help Ella, but she was 
too unstable and too self-destructive to understand. Dad, that could work against us. We would be accused of mudslinging and deliberately destroying Ella's credibility. We'd just be perpetuating the perception that we're bullying her. So we do nothing. It may be best. I don't agree. <laughs> Look, we have teams for this. I can come back. Get a come pen and paper. Take this down. Go on. Get a pen and paper. James has just sent me a statement drafted by Mr. Shelley regarding the Ella situation. Make sure it gets out to our usual media outlets. Can I see? Hello. James, I just saw the statement. Yeah, what about it? The things you're saying about Ella, it, it, it's going to hurt her and my... F the lows. And what if she sees it? What, who knows what she's going to do? Look, Dad's already made up his mind. Can you just... ask Zarin to wait a bit? G give me a chance to talk to Derek, please? How dare you stop my statement from going out? To be a Shelly, you've got to know this. What I say goes. I know, I know, okay? You're Derek Shelly. But Derek Shelly or no Derek Shelly, if I think something is wrong, I'll just say it out. Even if you get angry. I tell you, this statement is a big mistake. And who are you to tell me it's a mistake? Yeah, I'm a nobody, okay? I don't know much. But I know this more than you. I know what it's like to be a daughter who has been abandoned and rejected by her father. It makes you do angry, crazy things that you cannot control. Hey! Ah! How can you look at that gory organ stuff while you're eating? It's for some causes I'm thinking of doing. About organ trafficking? Like, what do you need to know? The going rate of a liver? It's not funny. Hey, you know, I heard that livers can actually regenerate. I wonder how long it takes to get enough for a second sale. Look, <laughs> people die over this, and you think it's okay to make a joke about it. I'm sorry. Do you know that there are villages where men sell their kidneys just to feed their families? Guess how much they get? Uh. 50k? More like 2k. What? Why would they sell it for so little? I'd rather keep my kidney. But it's not little to them. This kind of money can change their lives. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. It's okay. It's just that... You're passionate. I get it. Enjoy your meal. You don't get me wrong. Okay, I don't like Ella. She's spoiled. That's why she throws tantrums and looks down on everybody. But it's not her fault that she's spoiled. So it's my fault? Yes. And Jessica's. This mess is also my fault. For not understanding. I thought it was just for getting attention. But I of all people should know how she feels. She's hurt and alone and lost. We still need to issue a statement. I can't let the Shelley name be dragged through. It's the not map. just a Shelley matter. It's also a law matter. At least just discuss with the laws and come up with a statement that will help everybody. Hey, Simon. Just checking in on you. How are you feeling today? Take out any number of cuts from this pile. Tell me when to stop, okay? Stop. Okay. Don't tell me what it is. Okay. Remember what it is? Yep. This is the magic shuffle. Okay, doctor. Count the number of cards you picked out. Six.
Wow, that is amazing. Well done. Doctor, look at this. Blow at it. Come on, blow it. Let me. What? He disappeared. <laughs> Why so serious, Doctor? You're not even the one with the kidney disease. I'll update the team that you're feeling better. Dr. Shen. Don't be such a bummer. I'm sorry for being worried for Simon. Want to see something else? Yes, sure. Hey, Shen. What are you doing here? Oh, I accompanied a friend here for an appointment. You free for coffee? I've got a few minutes. I know the best vending machine. Joy statement. You remember last time what happened when we had the press conference? Never. Not with these people. If you don't do it, Derek Shelley will release his own. Then let him. Not like we can do anything about it. Do you know how bad Ella will look? What did he say? Joyce. Better not. Why not? Dr. Rook, okay. If you don't show us, then I won't do the joint statement. Nah. Wanna read Derek Shelley's statement? You read. Mr. Derek Shelley, how can you say such thing about Ella? Who are you? You don't know me, I don't know you. But now I have no respect for you. <laughs> Unstable, huh? not of sound mind. How can you write this about your own daughter? Who are you? Yoke's mother. Not biologically, you're Ella's mother. So, looking forward to your trip to Calcutta? I guess. Not excited? It's just a thing I go to every year. I'm even burning my annual leave for this. I mean, why? Don't you want to not work during your break? Guess I'm a workaholic then. That was official a long time ago, bro. I just feel bad for Yoke. You know, instead of going on a holiday for her... He... Holiday? That's way too soon. <laughs> Are we... Hold on. Hello? He's taking a turn for the worst. That kid needs a new kidney fast. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Is everything okay? That was my colleague updating me about his patient. 14-year-old kid. The most cheerful kid I've ever seen. But let me tell you, it's hard to try and smile when... The chances of him getting a new kidney in time are slim. No wonder people get desperate, right? I gotta go. Hey, don't forget dinner. Yeah. You think you are very smart, is it? I'm merely stating the facts. Ella is not my daughter. There's no Shelley blood in her. Blood or no blood? You have brought her up for 23 years. Not 23 seconds, not 23 minutes. 23 years. Go through so much together. Good times, bad times. Actually, the bad times are the best. Because when you go through the bad times, you will know how important family is. <laughs> I still remember when you was 10 years old, fell down, broke her arm. <laughs> She forced herself not to cry. I was so proud of her. But sad at the same time. My little girl. <laughs> so grown up already. Ma! Maywan! I've been looking all over for you. What are you doing here? Let's go. No. Not until Mr. Steric Shelley knows that he cannot release these things about Ella. I don't think you understand Ella as well as you think you do. 
<laughs> like you said, Ella was my daughter for 23 years. All she ever cared about was shopping and her allowance more than anything else. Everything is just about money to you. Isn't it? What about you and York? If it wasn't about money, if there's something deeper, please tell me why you sold her to us. Do you want to know how much, York? No. It's not important. You... <laughs> Need her the money, right? You wait outside. But I'm not gonna do anything to Mei Wan, okay? Wait outside. If anything, just scream. Close the door on the way out. Why are you lying? Looks like this is one of those buy one get one free ice cream days. Yeah, I think I need like 10 of those ice creams. I didn't take the money. You can ask Jessica. I know. So why did you let Yoke think you did? You saw her reaction, how much it hurt her. I know Yoke. If I don't do anything to hurt her, she won't leave. You try forcing that stubborn girl, then you'll know. So how is it different what you did to Yoke and what I did to Ella? My reasons are different, okay? But for the same outcome, we want them to be with their rightful families. Ella is so used to what you gave her. It's so unfair for you to take everything away from her. Nothing in this world is fair and Ella needs to learn that. Thanks to you, Yoke knows that already. You want to thank me. Then don't release the stupid statement about Ella. We need to release a statement or all that gossip about my family won't stop. Then don't write any bad things about Ella. All right. We'll say that Ella is going through a difficult time and that we're giving her space and financial resources to work through it. Tell you what, I'll arrange for a private investigator to track Ella down. No need. Don't you want to find her? I don't want you to be part of it. Who knows what you'll do to her? Smile for what? Yo, what are you doing out here? My mom. May one is inside. Who's there, right? Alone? Yeah. How long has she been in there? Half hour, 45 minutes. One hour. <sighs> Why did you even let her They're go? They're talking, just let them talk. About what? The press release about Ella. Why didn't you discuss this with me first? We settled it already. Well, you took your time with Derek. Come on, yo. So you can smile now, yo. You got your way. Sure, if you can read me one's handwriting. I can. Give it to James and have it released right away. Okay. This means without delay, yes? I know. You don't want to vet it first? If my ma is... May one is okay with it, then I'm fine. Hey, sorry I'm late. What's so interesting? Joint statement from the Shelleys and the Lowe's about Ella. Makes nobody look like the bad guy. Safeguards the Shelley's reputation. Anyway, how's that kid who needs a kidney? He's stable for now, but the team is super worried about his case. He's on the transplant list. Yeah, but he's quite far down. Nothing can do about it. Well, there are ways, but. But? Well, if you have money, for one, you have more options, but I don't need to explain that, I'm sure. You've read such stories on the news. Yeah. There are more kidneys, hearts, livers, corneas needed than there are donors. The longer this kid has to wait, the weaker it's going to get. How long's the wait? It could be up to 10 years. Wow. Really puts things in perspective, right? So, 
What are we going to have? Well, not kidney beans for sure. It's a terrible joke. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't make jokes. Ella just posted a message. Oh, so she's not dead. Ella, it's okay. Jay, it's okay. I'm safe and no one needs to worry. Don't try to look for me. And to the Shelleys, you wanted me out of your lives. I'm gone for good because you have ruined it. You're not going to bed, right? Not so soon. At least she's talking to us. Mm. Well, thank goodness your statement made it out before Ella posted this ridiculous message. It's not ridiculous. At least now you don't have to worry so much about her. Can you just stop that? Stop what? Stay out of the Lowe's affairs. You are Shelly now. Family comes first. Remind her, Derek. Don't need to remind me. Okay, I know, family comes first. But doesn't mean I don't need to care about anybody else. Or the other people need to be hurt because we want to protect ourselves. Can you say something, Derek? I like you. You're not afraid to tell me what you think. Yesterday, you were saying that you want to get a PI to find Ella. You change your mind? Yes, and I want to pay half. You want to pay half of my PI's fees? Yes. My PI is very expensive. Can you afford it? No, but I still want to pay. If he reports everything to you, he will also report to me. So you'd rather put yourself in debt than to trust me? Yes. I will do anything to make sure that my daughter is safe. 